Welcome to the Square Takeoff How-To Video Series. In today's video, we're going to discuss how to use the part catalog within Square Takeoff. Let's get started. To use the part catalog, you need to simply go to the estimating located on the left-hand side. Once you select the parts catalog, you'll notice you have three different databases in here currently. Right now you have the Square Takeoff Parts Database, which contains pieces of material and labor to allow for you to calculate those items when used in conjunction with your templates and your assemblies located within this section here of your software. Joist tool parts and your roof rafter parts, each one of these components, for example, if we look at division number six, contain a bunch of different material. If we look at our wood frame studs, we can see items such as our two by four studs, two by four by eight, two by four by 12, so forth and so on. Each one of these items contain an industry-based formula that allows for you to calculate the material whenever doing your estimate. If you would like to modify these items, and you'll notice that you're unable to edit them, if you would like to edit them, you can simply create a new catalog and add these items to it. This will give you full control of editing each one of these items. To add a new catalog, all we need to do is simply select Add New Catalog. From here, we can give it a name. I'm going to say My Parts. I'll go ahead and copy this and paste this here as my description. Next, we'll select our general manufacturer. And lastly, it will go to Default Catalog. Now, when you option this, you will see that you have floor and other items that are good for the Joyce Catalog. If creating just a default part catalog is what we're going to do, we're going to select the default catalog. Next, we'll hit Save. And you'll see that this item is here. You also see that it has no current parts underneath this catalog. What we can do is we can simply go within here and grab any of these components out if we want. We can also grab the main parent item if we prefer. For this example, I'm just going to go ahead and grab a hold of the wall framing. I'm going to drag it, and all I'm going to simply do is apply it. Once I do this, I'll be prompted and asking me if I want to go ahead and modify this here. So I want to go ahead and move it. I'm going to select yes and hit OK. And as I do this, it will go ahead and copy those in here. Once available, you'll see that these items will appear. Sometimes you may need to refresh your catalog to have these show up. To do that, just simply select the catalog here to the left. Once we select that, you'll see that they'll appear here in just a moment. Once these are in here, you'll see that they'll be listed here. Once you have drugged these in, you'll notice that you now have full functionality of being able to edit these, duplicate these, or delete these items as need be. Or we can select the Edit button and come in and simply modify any of these items as we see fit, whether it be the part numbers or if we get into the advanced items underneath, such as the quantities and so forth and so on. From here, you'll be able to take these items and apply these to any type of templates or assemblies that you would build within the template section. That's it. Thanks for watching today's video. 